Hey, I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've never been here, of course, then welcome. I'm so glad you've stopped by. Today, we get to review the House Laboratories Stupid Love Palette. This is the next eyeshadow palette in the range from House Laboratories, the brand behind the famous Lady Gaga. And we are going to dive straight into this palette. We are going to read the description from the website, we're going to get the swatches, we're going to get the initial first impressions and see how the palette performs and create a look with the shades in the palette. So if you guys want to see all of those things and know what I think about the House Laboratories Stupid Love Eyeshadow Palette, then stay exactly where you are, keep doing exactly what you're doing, and keep on watching. Guys, I have tried to film this video for like a week already because in case you guys don't know, I work at Ulta and we just reopened recently. Yay, Ulta, we reopened in Arkansas. Don't know where you are for sure. Don't know if your Ulta is open, but we reopened. And we are on very limited staff, meaning the staff that is available is working a lot right now. I was a part-time employee because I was in school before the pandemic. Now, after the pandemic, I am a full-time employee and to go from three months of not working, well, two months of not working, to all of a sudden working a full-time job, I am so tired when I get home. I've literally come down here four times at this point. Sat down, decided that I was gonna film, and just stopped. And I've actually gone to bed two of those four times. I just went straight to sleep instead. I'm doing it today, we are here today, it's happening today because I'm so far behind. And I need to make videos for you guys, and for myself. I haven't worn makeup in like two weeks or something, and I just need to get some color on my face and get out of this work rut that I have been in. So let's go ahead and dive in to this review of the House Labs Stupid Love Palette. As you can see, the packaging is really pretty. I love this reflective silver plastic cardboard. Cardboard. It's very metallic, and it has the pink stupid and then an embossed love on it, which is cool. It's just very chic. I like it. It's neat. It, in my opinion, is definitely more Lady Gaga than the initial collection was. I feel like the first collection that launched from House Labs was a little more, I don't know, maybe like the softer side of Lady Gaga. Definitely not like a born this way Lady Gaga. That is a very different version of her, in my own opinion. That's why I didn't invest in the initial launch of House Labs, mainly because I just wasn't excited about it. I hate to say that because I do love Lady Gaga. I'm not like a stan. I don't know every song ever written or anything like that. I did like Born This Way though. But I just love what she represents and what she stands for as an artist and a creator. So now if we slide the actual component out of the unit carton, we have the palette itself. And it is black, stupid, and silver love instead of the pink like on the unit carton. And it is like a cardboard. It's not a hard plastic or anything like that. Oh, by the way, this was $48. I ordered mine off of Amazon because House Labs is an Amazon exclusive brand. You can get them from Amazon or their own website, houselaboratories.com or houselabs.com, something like that. I'll have the actual links listed down below where you can find this palette if you do want to get your hands on it once it is available. It looks like you can still order it on Amazon right now, just not on their website. It shows sold out on theirs. Now let's see what the palette looks like on the inside. It does have a protective sleeve inside, but it is a beautiful protective sleeve. As you can see, it is Lady Gaga with the makeup look from this palette that her makeup art or a makeup artist created. I'm not sure if it's her makeup artist for sure. It might be. But you can see she has the beautiful look and this is to protect the shadows from getting all over the mirror, which it's nice because I like to keep these anyway because I do like to keep the mirror from getting all dirty and gross and stuff. So it's cool that they added this on top of it just to give it a little bit of flair since you have to keep it anyway. And then we have the actual eyeshadow palette. Woo! So she's very cool, very cool tone. We've got a few warm-ish tones over here, but I do feel like we are very cool heavy, which I'm okay with. I love blue. Blue is a beautiful color, for lack of better words. So now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're gonna get started on swatches. The first shade is the shade 911.
Then the shade Free Woman. Enigma. One thousand doves. The shade Plastic Doll. Stupid Love. Light Up. Sign. Ooh, that's really crumbly. Well, I was trying not to make a mess. Then the shade Rain On Me. Alice. Sour Candy. Enemy. The shade Peace. Fun Tonight. Motion Replay The shade My Mind And last is the shade Babylon Oh Okay, and that is the entire House Laboratories Stupid Love Eyeshadow Palette And you know, as always, I will insert photos of the swatches, one with flash here and one without flash here. And here's a video close-up of the swatches. You guys know I'll never let you down. I didn't mention this before, but this mirror, this mirror, it is like massive. Can you see you? I see you. Well, I see me at you with me. It's big. It's a very big mirror. I can see my entire face. So now I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and get my eyes primed and I'll be back so that we can try this palette out for our first look. I'm so excited. See you in just a second. I thought I'd share the magic of the peel. Oh yes, that was beautiful. Now since I have no clue what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start out by going in with the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm gonna use the shade Enigma. Kind of a powdery shade, not going to kick off the excess though, I'm just going to start packing it on. And I'm just going to take this about halfway in. I don't think I'm going to bring it everywhere because I do want to try and use as many shades as possible. You guys know the drill if you've been here before. We try to experiment with all the shades. Not all the shades, as many as we can. As many as we can fit on the eye look. So just taking this on the outer half making sure I follow my crease line so that I go up into this like, I don't know, almost butterfly wing looking arch where it goes in this little circle here. I'm also gonna pull this shade out just a little bit so I can start the emphasis on the shape of a wing because I can't do a House Laboratories or a Gaga type look without a wing. It's pigmented, but not overly pigmented. It's a little bit powdery. It's definitely more on the drier side of a formula, but it makes it easy to work with. It's not too crazy too fast. I can control it, which is nice. In the glass of her boudoir, I'm beautiful and lonely. Got me snow to stay. Summer I tried. Maybe I was born this way. 
Now I'm gonna use the Morphe M456 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Plastic Doll because I need some of that pink on my eye. I'm really afraid what's gonna happen when I start to blend the pink into the blue because I think it's gonna turn a weird shade of purple because red and blue make purple. That is such a pretty shade though. Like even just by itself, wow, super, super powdery. Which I went in with a natural fiber brush which always makes more powder well usually makes more powder than synthetic but still it's very powdery but it looks like it's giving me tons of payoff with all of that powder which is nice oh i'm so scared to blend it into that blue i don't even want to take it all the way up there i'm kind of loving these cotton candy vibes right now this makes me happy let's get away from happy and let's go into daring and see what happens i'm now going to take plastic doll and try to blend it into enigma and see what happens I don't really see them making a new color, actually. It just looks like they're blending into each other. Yeah, I really don't see any other color happening. Maybe a weird shade of brown, a little bit, but I don't really see much of a new shade, which is awesome. That means I can work with kind of the separation that it gives and create something else. Well, good, I'm much less scared now. Since I know that, I'm actually gonna take Plastic Doll a little bit higher up here and continue it out on top of Enigma onto the brow bone. Just a little bit, just so it's lighter as we go up the brow bone. Oh, cotton candy, I love it. I say we take the shade Sign now using the lavish tapered blending brush and we start putting that in the crease on top of the shade Enigma starting out here in the outer corner. Ooh, wow, that is so blue. And let's just start deepening the crease with this and see what happens. So I'm getting just the slightest bit of patchiness from the shade Sign right on the outer corner, but I am putting that on top of Enigma, and there's a lot of powder built up from Enigma. So I'm gonna just keep blending and see if maybe I can work it into that shade and see if it kinda starts blending a little bit more. It looks like it is, so I'm not too worried. Thought I'd mention it so you'd know. We're also gonna follow along the little wing shape here just to make sure that we keep it. Ooh, that was really cute. I like that little moment that happened there just now. These shades are actually stacking on each other pretty nicely. I'm not having any issues blending them out. I thought I was having some patchy issues, but really once I worked the blend a little bit, it just kind of melted in together. Wow, that is so pretty. That like ocean light blue into that deep, dark underwater blue. It's so pretty. I'm like a whale, but like a skinny one. I was about to decide that it was time to cut the crease, but I think I want to go even darker than what I've gone already. So I'm going to use the Morphe M506 brush and go into the shade My Mind. Like I'm losing my mind. And I'm going to use this to try and deepen up just this outer corner again. Maybe I'll pull it all the way through to the inner corner. I don't know. I don't know how this brown is gonna sit on top of the blue. I'm just curious with it being more of like a, I don't know, it's a really weird brown. It looks like a cool tone brown, but then again, it almost looks like it has a little bit of that orange enemy in it. So I don't really know if it is cool toned or not. It's toying with my mind. Oh, ha <laughs> ha! I didn't even mean that. I didn't mean that, but now I understand. Maybe that's why that shade is called My Mind, because it messes with my mind. Well, it's going with the cool blue tone nicely. I don't see it causing any issues specifically. Maybe it will work with a cool tone or a warm tone. Could we have a neutral deep brown in this palette? Is that what this is? That was so surprising. This palette is just continuing to surprise me and I like it. Okay, so now I am gonna go ahead and cut my crease. I'm gonna use the Sigma E62 Cut Crease Brush and my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 01, the same thing that I used as my eyeshadow base. 
Crease is now cut, as you can see. I went a little big, but it's Gaga. Go big or go home, you know? I think I'm just gonna start by using the shade Free Woman. I'm gonna just take the swatch that I used with my finger and just go ahead and apply that on after I make sure I have no creasing. I'm just gonna start to put it right on the lid of the cut crease. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that almost literally copied what was on my finger, like the swatch, right onto my lid. That was fantastic, I loved that. Let's see if we can do the same thing with a brush because I'm curious if I can pick up those colors with a brush. So let's find out. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. It's like a flat brush with a slight taper to the middle of it. I don't know what it's called. And we're just gonna continue to apply that same shade all over because it's so beautiful. This is one of the best silvers that I've ever seen. I'm gagged. This is gorgeous. I'm ugh, I'm loving this. Okay, now I had this bright idea to go in with the shade Motion, and I'm going to do that on the outer corner or the outer edge, whatever you want to call it. Pretty sure I'm going to make it like my outer V area. I'm going to use this big fluffy packing brush. Now let's see what it looks like packed on the outer lid. That's black. That is very, very black. Okay, so I'm gonna try and be careful with this. I'm gonna pack it all just on the outer lid first, and I kind of want to bring it up into the crease a little bit so that I can get it to blend in with my mind slightly if I'm able to. I'm really gonna have to clean this up when I'm done. This is gonna be a mess. Very messy. I'm definitely gonna have to go back in and clean up some of that black because it's gonna get everywhere, I'm sure. And then I'm gonna take the brush that I used before, the Morphe M506 brush, go back into the shade, my mind, tap off the excess this time, and just make sure I work the outer edge of motion into my mind and sign so that it doesn't look way too weird and lonesome. Actually, what I need to do is now take the flat brush that I was using in the shade Free Woman earlier, go back into Free Woman, just so I don't let that black take over, and start blending Free Woman into motion. Ooh, I love it so far. It's so fun. Now, before I move on completely, which would be the lower lash line, the brow bone, the inner corner highlight, and the wing, I do need to go ahead and do my face makeup. I'm gonna do that off camera as to save time because this video would be 10 million years long and we don't want that because it's already probably long enough. So give me just a second to finish all that stuff off camera and I'll be right back. See you in just a second. Face is done and now we're ready for the lower lash line. I did go ahead and throw the liner and lashes on because after I thought about it, I figured why not go ahead and do that off camera because I had nothing to do with the eyeshadow palette. So I used my Anastasia liquid liner for the line. And then I also used the Velour Luxe Foam Ink Lashes in the style Flawless. And I've got to admit, these are pretty flawless. But alas now, it is officially time for that lower lash line. You know, I think I wanna tie a little bit more of the pink shade plastic doll into the lower lash line since I only have it right up here, making sure I tap off all the excess. Since I have all my face makeup on now, I really don't want a bunch of fallout under my eyes. So we're gonna try and avoid that if we can. Why did I sound like that just now? But I do think that's it for now. On a Morphe M431, I'm gonna take a tiny little bit, tiniest little bit of the shade Peace, the very aqua marine teal type color. And with that shade, I'm gonna put it right here on the outer edge and make it the transition between plastic doll and motion. I'm gonna try and keep this confined just to the outer edge. Don't wanna bring it in any further because I'm scared of it. Wow, it's actually really pretty. Ooh, that's different. I kind of regret not using that on some of the other parts of the eye look, but that's okay, what's done is done. We are here now, we're using it now. It's okay, we love her. We love peace. That is really pretty. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe M456 and use Plastic Doll again and just make sure that I blend Plastic Doll into peace. But I love this, that's really neat. I just hope that they actually blend in together or at least make some kind of fade into each other so they're not so split. Okay, that looks great. I need to finish off the look now, and I think I'm going to use the Morphe M506 brush again. This is the same shade that I used to blend out my mind, and I'm gonna use this in just a tiny little bit of motion. I'm gonna just use it right on the outer edge here to blend into the shade Peace, 
and make sure that it ties into that outer edge of the eye look. And last but certainly not least, it's time for inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. I'm gonna use the same shade for both, I'm just gonna use two different brushes. One is the Morphe E36, I'm gonna use that for the inner corner highlight because it's a pointy bullet brush. Then I'm gonna use the M152 for my brow bone highlight because it's more of like a shader brush, but it's a lot smaller so I can fit it right up here. And for this miraculous moment, I'm gonna use the shade Light Up. Now for the E36 brush, I am gonna spray this brush with a little bit of my Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. You can use any setting spray, really. I just like this one because it smells like watermelon. And I'm just going to apply this right in the inner corner. Wow, okay. Ooh. Now time for the brow bone. Let's use the Morphe M152, like I said, and go in to light up. Oh wow, that's fallen out everywhere. I could literally see the pieces falling in front of me. And all it really did was kind of add some glitter particles, so maybe I do need to spray it. Okay guys, as far as shadows are concerned, that is the entirety of the look. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced Dang girl mascara off camera, finish off my lower lashes, and I will be right back to give my final thoughts on the House Laboratory's Stupid Love eyeshadow palette. And here we are with the finished look. What do you guys think? I think I kinda love it. It is not anywhere near what I thought it was going to be. Don't really know what I thought it was going to be, honestly, just based on the initial Glancing at the palette and seeing the color story initially, I just thought, I don't know, I thought it was gonna be kinda boring, honestly. I thought it wasn't gonna be very versatile. I thought I was only gonna get a blue look with some orange. Well, I mean, I did get a blue look with some pink. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that I just got a lot more than I expected. And I'm actually very excited about that. I think this is much more of a capable representation of Lady Gaga in my mind than the first palette that launched. I don't picture Lady Gaga as necessarily a rainbow type person, but I do picture her as a type of person with many facets. And I feel like with this palette, this represents that. This represents many facets. I feel like you can actually create quite a few looks with this. You can go light, you can go deep, you can go colorful, you can go sultry and vampy, you can go cotton candy if you feel like it with a silver pop on the lid and deepen it up with some black. You can do color blocking. Just this palette actually feels like a really great versatile palette and I did not think I was going to be saying that by the end of this review. So all in all, I'm pleasantly surprised. I definitely would recommend the palette for just about anyone because you can still get neutral wearable looks, you can still get colorful looks, you can get almost anything you want. It could fit a lot of people for a lot of styles and I can truly appreciate that. I do now think that it is worth the $48 that was spent on it. I do think the packaging could be upgraded a little bit, but I can't say what would be better, so maybe not. I'm not a packaging expert, so I couldn't tell you. I don't know, that's just what I think. I Take it with a grain of salt, I, I am no expert, as I said. But more importantly than what I think, I wanna know what you guys think. What do you think about the look? What do you think about how the palette performed and what the shades are in the palette? Do you think that this is something that you would be interested in? Do you think that you could create something with the shades that are in this palette? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys. I always do love to have a conversation with you guys. And it means the world to me whenever you comment on my videos. It also means the world to me that you guys leave me a thumbs up. If you do, leave me a thumbs up because that's really awesome of you. And it goes to show that you appreciate me as a person. If you don't, you don't have to leave me a thumbs up. And you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and and Snapchat. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. And if you gain nothing out of this video, if you gain nothing out of any of my videos, please at least gain this. And that is to always remember and never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye!